Okay, hello everybody. So today is the second lesson um, of this little unit of work. And today we're gonna to be doing some research. Um, it's sort of a lesson in like two parts. So I'm gonna guide you in a bit of a direction today of some things to look at and have a watch of. And then you've got a bit more freedom tomorrow to sort of take it um, your own sort of way, depending on what you're interested in. Um, so yeah, um, what we're gonna do first though, is you will need um, your home learning book or a piece of paper, something to write with as well. So if you haven't got that in front of you, I would suggest you very quickly pause this video and go and grab that now. So hopefully everyone's got a piece of paper um, or their book and something to write with, pen, pencil, absolutely fine. So the first thing I like to think about um, is, so obviously you're all in a room of some sort in your house, most of you will be at home. Um, so you might be in the living room, the dining room, a kitchen, an office, your bedroom, uh, oh, a conservatory, there's, there's so many different rooms you can be in. Um, so have a little look around you. And what I'd like you to do is give yourself one minute on the clock to spot as many examples of plastic as you can. Um, I've said you can do the room you're in, you could also do just in general around your house um, and write a list. So I'm not gonna put time on the video, but you can pause the video now, quickly set a timer up on your watch, a clock on the wall, a clock on the television, your laptop, your iPad, your phone, your iPad, what, whatever you've got. Set a little one minute timer and write as many things as you can spot. So if you pause the video now, you can go away and do that activity first. So a minute hasn't gone for me, but a minute should have passed by for you. Um, so hopefully you should have quite a, quite a lengthy list now of all sorts of things in the room that you're in or, or all over your house of things that are made of plastic. Um, probably quite a shocking list really, because there should hopefully be lots of things um here's just a few pictures of a few things you might have written on your list so like water bottles um like food packaging um you might have a plastic bin potentially um plastic bags i know obviously we don't really see plastic bags as much anymore but you might have one or two still lying around at home possibly in a cupboard somewhere um so here's a few things you've probably got lots and lots more um, just from just from where I'm sat right now, I can see, um, oh, I can see like a little plastic sort of basket. Um, I can see, what else can I see? Um, oh, goodness me. Um, well, I've got, I've got a bottle next to me, actually. And, oh, if I can find one more plastic thing. Um, oh, goodness, I can't see any more plastic things. Oh, my cat's toy. They've got a little plastic ball thing that they, they bash a ball about in. That's plastic as well. Um, okay, so it says on the bottom here, plastic isn't the only thing affecting the planet that we live on. What other things can you think of? So don't, you don't need a time limit on this, but have a little think. You might want to write a little list um, as well, maybe next to or underneath the list you've just written of plastic based items. So what other things can you think of that affect the planet that we live on? So things, for example, obviously plastic is a big one. Um, stuff to do with rubbish, maybe. Think of some words associated with rubbish that you might want to think of. Think about vehicles. There's lots to do with vehicles. Um, have a little think, again, write a little list. So maybe now might be a time to pause and write a few things. Okay, so ho hopefully you might have read another little list. You might have thought of lots of different things. So this is all getting you thinking right now because the, the, the sort of the unit we're gonna be doing for the next two weeks is all about um, our planet and how our planet is being affected by sort of all sorts of things. So I'm just gonna put this here a minute. 
So what we are thinking about is our planet and the effects on our planet. So over here in my issues little column here, I just put a few things for now, just things to be thinking about. So pollution, really big thing right now. Um, pollution massively affects our planet in so many different ways. Um, littering as well. Um, something else which has got lots of devastating impacts. Deforestation. Now, this is something you would have looked at last week. So the trees being cut down um, obviously really affects um, habitats, animals, and then and there's more to it than just that. Um, but obviously deforestation is a massive, massive issue. And then uh, plastic, obviously we, we just thought about earlier. And then over here, because we don't want to just dwell on the negative, it, this, this bit of work isn't all about the, the negatives and making us feel like doom and gloom. It's also, well, here are some issues, but we want to think about some possible solutions um, and sort of how to like combat and solve what's going on really. Um, so we've got some solutions over here. And again, I've only put a couple down for now. There are, there's so many different solutions as well. So um, one major thing right now, um, reusable items, things that you can use again and again and again, not just use it once and bin it. Um, recycling, absolutely massive. Um, there's so much more things that we can recycle these days and just using recycled items as well. So not just buying things that are um, sort of like have been used, like the first time they've been made, but items that have been recycled such as recycled, as I don't know, bottles, boxes, like made out of like card and stuff, obviously paper. Um, so obviously recycling is quite a big thing here. That it's not just, I'm gonna pop my, um, I don't know, my, my baked bean tin in my little green box or whatever kind of box you have. There's m so much more to it than just that. Um, and then another one here, it's like really big, is renewable energy. So if you, so some of these are going to be words of the days um, for the next week, but renewable, um, so being able, so renewable energy is things like, and we might, I can't think locally, but um, the wind turbines, for example, they're up in the fields and being able to generate wind power. Um, a lot of you as well will have solar panels on your homes. So solar, solar power as well is something really big. So renewable energy is something which, um, again, is, it's, it's not a cure. None of these things are cures, but they are solutions that help the planet. So what you have got, so obviously you have got this, this document that we're looking at now. You've got a copy of this also. Um, you've got four videos to have a watch of. So some of these, obviously your... The stuff you're seeing on the website will be slightly different. Um, where you found this video that you're currently watching, underneath this video will be two of these. So it'll be the David Attenborough plastic message and the how did we get to a world full of plastic. These two videos will be underneath this one. And then this climate change video and humans and the environment. These two are up in the box. Um, in the Tuesday box. They're linked in there, so you can click those and they will open up to different websites. So just for today, what I'd like you to do um, is to watch these videos and read some of the information that's there and take a few notes about what it is you're reading about. Um, you might want to think about the headings at the top of the page, but again, these are only some sort of headings. These are sort of when I was thinking about issues and solutions, these were the first things that popped into my head. But obviously you guys are gonna have all sorts of other different thoughts. Um, but have a little watch of these, take some notes. Um, and, you know, you might know some facts also, or know bits of information. So if you know stuff as well, feel free to add that into your notes as well. Um, so have a watch of these for today. Take a few notes down and then tomorrow's one will be still focusing on this, but you'll do something um, slightly different for tomorrow's lesson. So four videos, take some notes, start thinking about what is affecting our planet 
what are some of the issues and what are some of the solutions after you've watched these four videos.